Hey everybody, this is Guru Francis, Big Boy Screamador from Filipino Martial Arts School. And today we're going to be talking more about concepts. So the thing about what I always tell my students about Filipino Martial Arts is that Filipino Martial Arts is not, it, it's, it, the, I guess the best way to, to illustrate that, or to, the best metaphor to use, is that Filipino Martial Arts is like an orchestra, okay? There's different sections of the orchestra. There's the percussion section, the, the string section, the wind section. They all make different sounds yet they're playing all the same musical piece, right? But, you know, but again, they're, they're, you know, each of them are doing their own thing, but again, they're playing the whole musical piece together. That's the same thing with Filipino martial arts, is that whatever your right hand is doing, whatever your right foot and left foot, left hand is doing, is different from each other, but it's all playing the same piece. Okay, so now what we're going to be doing right now is we're going to be showcasing the four quadrants or the four corners, okay? Now, this is a simplified version of the sombrata, but even though it's simplified, it still has a lot of, um, you know, details that is sometimes overlooked, and we're going to be dissecting those details right now. I have my student Lloyd here who's going to help me. And we have two cameras, camera A and camera B, to kind of, so we can, you can see both sides of the angle. This is a new feature that we have here at Filipino Martial Arts School, but now we have two angles of the camera. So the first strike, is that he's going to go right foot forward, so hold on. We're going to be right foot forward, stick on your right hand, and then he's going to strike me at my left ear. Boom. Now I'm going to do an augmented block, and I'm going to check here. Then I'm going to strike to his abdomen. Okay? Then he's going to open block with his palm up. No, no, no. Palm up, and that's going to be his block. Then I'm going to strike his left ear. Then he's going to strike me in my abdomen. Okay? So again, very simple. Very basic, okay? So when we start doing this, he strikes me to the ear. Come closer, please. There you go. So that's the first thing that I tell my students as far as how they do this, the four corners or the four quadrants is that that's how they, that's the beginning stages. Then I add some uh, complications to it, okay? Now we're going leaning forward and leaning back, okay? Yeah, leaning forward, leaning back. I was ba backwards on that one. So now every strike or every offensive strike is leaning forward while every defensive, uh, de defensive move is leaning back. So again, he's, Lloyd's going to strike me in my ear. I'm going to turn my body and lean to the left. Now, because this is a defensive strike, this is, I'm leaning back. But then the next one is an offensive strike, so I'm going to lean forward. Okay. Then I'm going to strike his ear. I'm already in that position. Augmented block, please. And then from here, he's going to go to my stomach, and I'm going to go to a cat stance. So he's going to strike my ear. I'm going to turn my foot. Lean forward. Lean forward, and back to a cat stance. Okay? So now, the second, the, the, so now, let's do that again. Turn. Lean forward. And lean back. Turn here, here, and here, okay? So that's the second thing that we start working on. Then, if you notice already, and Lloyd has already been doing it, and I've been doing it, of course, is that the checking hand works every time that he's blocking me. Uh, when every time I'm blocking, I'm checking his stick hand. So when he strikes, here, I'm checking with, with, uh, with, my, with my checking hand. I'm checking his stick hand with my checking hand. That's, that's now the most basic version of this is that that's going to be true for every block, every defensive movement. So from here, I strike here, here, and here. Again, I'm checking his hand. Then he strikes me to my ear, then I'm checking here. So we're going to continue. We're going to include now the lean and the checking of the hand. Here. Wonderful. So that's the, the next one. Now, the most advanced version of this, of this thing is now when I'm saying that every check, every, every defensive move, I check his hand. But what if I don't, <laughs> that I keep checking his hand the whole time, He's checking his body the whole time. So now we're going to simplify this first. He strikes. Then from here, I push him down here. <laughs> Come here, right? Then I'm going to strike him to the ear. I push his hand here. Then from here, I pull him this way. 
So now I'm actually no longer losing contact. So he strikes, as soon as he strikes, boom, boom, boom. You notice from here, and I go here, I push his hand down this way, he checks, I move my hand here, because that's where I want him to move next. Okay, then from here, I pull his hand this way. So now I'm now telling him what to do. Oh, now we're doing the sombrata, sorry. So strike again here. Here, good, boom. Okay, so that's, you can see that there's a lot of intricacy this movement with that. There's the checking hand, the stick hand, the leaning, so that's footwork, and of course, telling your opponent what to do next. Those are the complications of the four quadrants, even though it's a simplified version of the sombrata, has a lot of lessons to learn. So when you're doing this, make sure you take the time to learn all the salient details. Oh, sorry, <laughs> it's hard to breathe in this mask. But I hope you like what you're seeing. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you're looking for a school in somewhere in the Riverside, school, in Riverside area, please check us out at fmaschool.com or email us at info at fmaschool.com. Until then, this is Guru Francis. Peace out, God bless, and keep swinging them sticks. <laughs>